Hello and welcome back to Oceanotopia. So, last episode, in the last episode, I didn't get it on camera, but I did find a male butterfly, Max. Um, so, good longevity and okay facility. So, I got him, chucked them in here. Um, so, ready to go. I did also start recording and cancel it because it went really badly. Um, I tried to get, I've got some platypus, platypuses, platypi, um, and put, tried to get them to fit in here, I couldn't quite manage it, so I've given up on that idea, and now I'm trying to find the best place to put them, which I'm not sure, ooh, this would be a good spot over here, if I move these exhibits, which I'm going to do, I'm going to move the exhibits over here, Yeah, I'm going to move the exhibits over here. Uh, what group is it built onto? Split all groups. And then... I can hopefully move these around. Oh, I'll put one there. And move him there, and then hopefully I can get some stuff built around it. A line to grid. No, I'm using the wrong floor. There. And then deselect grid. Put that there. Can I get a little one in here? No, I can't. That's fine. So I'll leave those two over there. And that leaves us this area over here for the platypuses. So. How am I going to do this then? We'll just put a place to get rid of these people. Okay, cool. Uh, we also need a donation bin over here. For these guys. We don't have anyone over here. Put a couple of them in. We also don't have any information screens, which isn't good. So we will copy these over as well. Do they go on the walkthrough exhibit or not? You'd think they would, wouldn't you? Let's see. Well, we'll put one in here. Let's see. Come on, yeah, they can have them, so we'll put that over there. Okay, let's select these for the right ones, so what animal is this? It should tell us. Cockroach, yep. Perfect. And over here we've got the death adder. So, common death adder. Common death adder. Common death adder. Where are you? There we are. Common death adder, and last but not least, common death adder. Okay, perfect. That's that done, and that's left us lots of space over here for our new um, platypuses. I still don't know what the plural is. I should probably look that up, but we'll leave it for the moment. <laughs> okay, what length is this? Mm 
Let's just sort this out a bit. Hopefully that will work. No. Nothing some barriers. There you go, something like that, and then we will just ignore that huge um health and safety <laughs> issue there, but that is fine. Right, so yes, over here we're going to have the platypuses. We'll get rid of that one. Um, and we'll get rid of that, and then we are going to have... Um, what do we want? Yeah, we want this, so we'll have one of these here. We'll just play to get rid of these people. Yep, yeah, good. Move you, move you. Okay, cool. I quite like the log ones, so we are going to go for the log path just down here. Yep, lovely. No, that's not what I want to do. I'm going to flatten this. Over to here. Like right, that, perfect. And then... Let's flatten some more out. So if we flatten this out here is the swimming area. Um, I'll quickly delete this path here in the hopes that that works. Yep, perfect. That's still elevated. Perfect. Okay, and then let's flatten to foundation here. Just give lots of area. And then we'll smooth this out a bit to give them access to it all. Okay, and then let's put the water. Oh yeah, I need, I need my barrier. Okay, small wooden, so they only need a small one, so we're going to go for the small wooden habitat gate, because I just think they're nicer. And we'll put that there. Put that in, and then glass. Along here. <coughs> I'm sorry. glass and then we'll do wood up to here there we go and now if I raise this here raise this up I'm going to change this one to here, uh, no, down, to here, yeah, there you go, that'll do, and I'm going to change these two to the wooden logs, yeah, perfect, hopefully now we should be able to get the water in, perfect, um, no, I don't want it there, I want it down here, that's not much area, so I will do a little bit more terrain editing. I'm going to put that in there, 
and then push this down ever so slightly. Make that a bit deeper. And then bring out like that. Yes, that looks good. And then how much? Yeah, they've got loads of room. So they actually don't need a habitat this big at all. Nowhere near as big as this. But I think it looks nice. Um, although I would like the water to be higher. So I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to flatten it here. Um, yeah, smooth this out so they have got a nice little way down. So over here can be their way down to the water. And then put the water in up here. Okay, so that's cool. So then we just need to flatten this bit here out. And then put the water in up here. Okay, how much is that? That's going to be way too much water and not enough land, I'm guessing. Yeah, lots of water, not a lot of land, but that is fine. Because now they've got a nice big area to swim in. Okay, cool. That's that. So let's um, look what they want. Flat Epus. They can have the burrow, so we will put in a burrow for them just over here. Food tray large. We'll put in a food tray just over here where they're able to see it. And again, um, one there, yeah. Underwater fish feeder, let's see if this is going to work. No species species, that's fine, we'll leave that for the moment. So let's do that, let's let it play out for a little bit. I do like this. Um, I do want to also work on making these look nicer. So making my um, my paths, not my paths, sorry, my um, little viewing galleries look nicer, but for the moment I'm just going to leave it there. Right, Frank Fubar, hello. Saving a little bit of money back from what we spent. Many guessing the tickets under price. Okay, let's go 15 and 10. Okay, perfect. Okay, breed a new habitat animal. Release three of any habitat species to the wild. Earn a yearly food profit of 10,050. We're in January and we've redone 8,500. So we should be fine for that. Have I sent them to be quarantined? Yes, I have. Okay, perfect. Well, while we do that, I will just do this. So I've seen something which I really like the look of. Um, what do I want? Yeah, I think I want this. One. And then bring this down like this. Have it at a slight angle, like that. Bring it out slightly. And then bring this across the other side. Okay, cool. And then facilities. Um, where's the information? Here we go. I just want the screen. That's quite a big screen. I probably want something smaller than that. What's that? No, well, we can make that work. Align to surface, position snap. And then let's copy this over. Put one down there and one over here. 
turn off the rotation. Put them there. Hopefully that will work. Yes, that will work in the end when I've got power. So they are now quarantined. So let's bring them over. Bring them over to the, the new home. And on here I will have a speed build because I want to have a lot of nice area. Um, well, that doesn't make sense. Um, I want to bring in a nice sort of rocky area to make it look really nice. Um, so I will be doing that at some point. Right, animals layout. Oh wow, they're breeding quickly, which is very good indeed. And the first ones have already died, I think. No, Max is still there. Good. Max is still there. I just can't see him. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, hello. 20 credits, thank you, thank you. Here we are, they're about to bring in our platypi, platypuses, platypi, platypus, multiple platypus. <laughs> there we go, and they are absolutely tiny, so it's quite funny how small they are. Um, but yes, right, terrain, they got way too much long grass, which yes, agreed, way too much long grass, so I'm just going to get rid of all the long grass. Okay, cool, and then they've now got too much short grass, so let's add in some rock around the water. And a bit of sand. And then, do you need any soil? Yeah, you can have soil. So we'll replace some of the sand with soil, just to make it look a little bit nicer. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Coverage, Oceana, and we'll go for temperate. I think, yes. Right, here we go. This is what I mean. I want something like this so they can get up, move around, and just looks a little bit nicer than just stone. Well, it is stone, than just dirt. Um, so yes, so what I'll do is I'll leave it here for a second, have a little time lapse of making this habitat hopefully, hopefully look really nice and lovely, and then I'll bring you back in a second. So, see you in a sec.
there we go <clears throat> that is the walkthrough it's a bit janky but it works um, it could do with a fair bit of attention but for the moment that will do again I'm not great at building in this game and I don't want to spend too long just building something um, although hang on Let's try and get a nice little photo of these platypuses. Let's get one over here, potentially. I'll just wait here for a second. There you go. I've just changed the screen over to the platypuses. And I'll do the same over here and also move this one. And put this onto platypus and build a solar panel just over here <laughs> so that they've got some some um, power there we go right what's this mechanic research is done let's see what we've got drink shops we're getting there for the drink shops a little bit of rain we don't see rain too often um, okay cool well, uh, right, let's quickly add these to the staff zones and also while we've got a bit of money I will train everyone up 1625, that's fine Yeah, oh, hang on I'll just add the ATMs in there as well Perfect, oh, rainy, horrible rain Vet research, what have we got now? Monarch's almost done, which is good and the Eastern Blue Tongue Lizard which I think is one of these ones. Yes, this one here. 
We'll add this in to make their layout a little bit nicer. Exhibit trading. Let's see what we've got. We've got some snakes to sell. Not a lot, but a little bit. Okay, cool. Well, that is it in terms of the platypus. Platypi. I still need to find out. Um, they should be able to drink from this water. They've got a little burrow here. Let's see if they're happy. If I can even find them. There they are. Are you happy? Enrichment. You need some toy enrichments. Okay, have we got any toy enrichment for you? No, so we'll have to look into that. But other than that, you're happy with everything? Yes, yes, no. Okay, that's fine. I just need to add some donation bins in. One there. One there, where's everyone seem to be gathering over here? And one there. Yeah, cool. And then I will also add in some of these. Get them put over to the platypus. Platypus and decrease the speaker sound. Yep. Nice. And then let's copy these over here as well. Where everyone seems to be gathering to see them. And let's um, make this radius a bit bigger. There we go. Perfect. So hopefully that's enough to keep them happy. And can the staff get over here? Yep, so they can get in there, in all of there. Yep, yep. So why can't they get into these ones? Oh, it is accessible now. Oh, okay. Well, that is good. Look at our crocodiles just floating about, and our butterflies are breeding like nobody's business, which is lovely to see. Can you see them? Yes, you can see some butterflies fluttering about, which is nice. Um, let's add in, I think we should have some things, oh we've already got them put in there, oh, okay nice. Because yeah, it just looks so much nicer with them in, otherwise it just looks a bit empty, doesn't it? It just looks a lot nicer with those all in there. So yeah, happy with that. Right, we're not doing too great money, we're getting slowly up, getting up. Let's see if these have got any money yet. Wow. Oh, they've not got any, that one. This one, 196. 60, oh, oh, oh. Emu is about to inbreed. So you're the adult, you're the baby. Get you on contraceptives. Okay, let's maybe release these to the wild then. If we have a look at our animals, the emus. Um, I think we'll release these three to the world unless it says they want lots in there. One to six, up to five males, five females. Yep, yeah, then we will release them. Because Umbara and Lilaradi have both got a little bit of time left in them. Release to the world, 32. Yep, yeah, cool. And our platypus are about to mate. Nice. Release three of any habitat into it. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Didn't even. That was an accident. But it worked out nicely. Perfect. And everything's starting to come together now. The vet research is getting done. Right. Okay. Let's get you straight onto the platypi. Platypi, platypuses. <laughs> Click all. Perfect. Mechanic research is done as well. Drink shops is getting there, and what are you doing? Drink shops and staff facilities, okay, cool. But yeah, I think the zoo is really starting to come together. It looks nice, it's the water. The water is just covered, so that is good. Um, theirs is... 
Yeah, all the water's covered. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. It's looking good. But yeah, the zoo's starting to look really nice. Um, it's a bit of a shame that in a few episodes times, in a few episodes time, it will be done. If we look at the animals that we've got, we've got we've got the wombat, the penguin. We've only got the wombat and the penguin to add, so we're looking at what maybe another three, maybe four episodes max. Um, I do want to come through and tidy everything up, and again probably probably make this look a bit nicer because at the moment it looks a bit rubbish but that is a reminder one thing I do want to do is add some rocks just to the back of here just to fill in this area really make it look a little bit nicer from the back Not that it really matters, as obviously you can't get back there, but it just looks a bit rubbish. So I will add all of this. Oh, koala's about to be rude. Which one is it? 4.9, 14 6. Savannah, come on, mate. Let's not, let's not have babies with your dad, please. It's a bit weird. Um, don't like that one there. Add some more rocks in. Some small ones. So a couple of rocks in there, it doesn't, it doesn't look great at all, that's not not what I was hoping for actually, but it's fine, right, are these getting any money in yet, 160, not much, a little bit, this is the one I think, yeah that's getting a lot, uh, oh it's reset, oh that's because we are in January, year 11, so yeah I think I'll probably get to episode 15 of this. Um, most likely and then we'll be moving on to new oh what's going on here then hi guys um looks a bit odd but yeah i think we'll get to episode 15 and that will probably be it for here so we've got four more years to get as much done as possible um we want to get a lot of research done so i think i'm not sure where we're going to go to next but Maybe let's have a quick look now. Um, Asia's quite cool. Asia's got a lot of nice animals as well. Um, European peacock in Asia. Hmm. We might go to Asia because they've got a lot of cool things. They've also and also animals where we've already used they won't come back. So, saltwater crocodile and the southern cassowary. cassowary. Kasawari, <laughs> we won't be bringing back. Obviously, um, exhibit animals, fine. I'm not too worried about those because there's not a lot of thought and effort goes into them. But the um, actual ad animals, we won't be having back. So I think I'll have to obviously have a look. So yeah, I think maybe Asia or Europe. Europe would be nice. Um, and then obviously this is where we'd have the European badger, European fallow deer, European peacock. I'm not going to put those in Asia. Um, probably not going to put the polar bear in Europe either. That'll probably go in North America if I'm going to get around to here. I don't know. If I know. Um, is there a North American lot? Yeah, there's quite a fair fair amount for North America. So yeah, well, there's a lot for North America. And then obviously Africa is the big one. Africa is the one that I want to do last because I'm hoping by then I'll be really good um, at this game. So it will look really cool and I'll have really nice things. Um, and also by then I want to run on the safari because it's nice to have a safari. Um, so Oceana's done. So South America we could go for. We've got the tapir, the cougar, the dwarf caiman, tortoise, giant anzies. Oh yeah. I think, I think we might, I think we might go for South America next because 
I love topiaries and giant anteaters. They're two of my favorite animals. So I think we might go for that. Um, but yes, anyway, thank you for watching. Um, and until next time, bye-bye.